The second interaction with the dirty fitzies after that, people, was this. We were sitting off in the veil, me and Danny. We used to go to veil and buy a weed. But we went to buy a weed this day and he's not answering his door. Joe, um, Noel Collins, yeah, little family off the estate. So we're watching this flat door, me and Danny. And we see these two juice heads, one from the south end. They were both from the south end, actually, just big steg heads going in and out the flat. So we thought, hang on, something's going on in there. So we've just burst it, me and Danny. <laughs> Went right in. Went into the kitchen and it was like four and a half bars of weed. You know, pucks of weed. You know, nine and a half ounce bars. But back in the day, they were worth a bit of dough, you know, on it. So we've gone in there, took it. Got off. Sold a puck here, sold a puck there. The people who we sold a puck to informed the people that they bought it off us. So before we know it, we've got the Fitzgibbon family looking for us. <laughs> I'm not lying, lad. Messy. Got the Fitzgibbon family looking for us. Anyway, they caught for Danny. They kidnapped Danny. Danny's 15 or something. They kidnapped him. Took him away, took him to that flat, took him in the cellar of the flat that we'd kicked in, tied him to a chair and sat the chairs on breeze blocks. They absolutely tortured the life out of Danny, them Fitzgibbons. What they done with Danny, it, it, anyone that knows Danny and, has, and knows, I've seen Danny with his top off, you will have recognised 15 inch scars across his back in an X. That's what the Fitzgibbon family done to him. Like that never gets forgot, does it? Ever. Tracy Weston seen it. I'm not I'm not here to lie, it's all true, Pla. And all use in the city of Liverpool, know what kind of dogs that Fitzgibbon families are, don't you? Hey, bullying, steroid abusing, and rats they are. They always have been. Nothing's changed. You're on it. Knew how to use and abuse the youth. So you've had these horrible, dirty, perverted men. That Jason Fitz wanking in parties, not while everyone's there. Pure nonce. You know it. Everyone will tell you. I'm not. I'm not saying nothing new yet. Everyone knows what they're on, they're about. So what they done? These horrible bullying bastards. They'd have young kids around them, bullying them to death, getting them to do this, getting them to do that. Da, 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 da. All the time. 